All right, I guess I can't put this off any longer. So this is a video that's been a couple months in development and not entirely of my own volition. One of my uh, quote-unquote friends has decided they wanted to start a subscription box called Dave Crate. If you've ever seen any of the myriad of loot box or geek crate or whatever unboxing videos, this is about the same except worse. And we're going to cut it open. Better not bump the camera. Fortunately, he doesn't use very good packaging. I'm supposed to record my honest reactions from start to finish for this whole thing. And I swear, there's probably going to be something that offends me on multiple levels. Okay, got that off. No, I'm going to stall a little bit. Yeah. First edition Dave Crate. Is there any, anything on the back? Nope. <sighs> yes, that is a quality that you can expect if you decide to subscribe to Dave Crate. Oh boy. Hello, this is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure, soon. No. Blind bag minions. Is this a rare one? I can't even tell which one this is. If you want to tell, that's what they are. And it's easier to read on my phone. Sort of. It's not focusing. I don't care. I stopped caring. It doesn't even have rarities on them. It's literally just a, a stupid blind bag. Well, we're off to a great start. Oh, hello. One thing dropped out of it. There's a stand. Oh boy, that will become useful later. I'm not even gonna look at this next one. This is more minions. Is that this month's theme? Minions, sour gummies. Okay, so one of the other rules was I have to taste the things. Although to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm offended by the prospect of eating minions or elated that they get to die. These aren't even... They, they, these are not... These have nothing to do with minions. They're literally just regular sour candies that they put the minions logo on. And we're off to a great start. It's going in my mouth. I'm prepared with water, just in case. Hmm. These aren't half bad. Okay, next item. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this related to that absolutely horrible Hollywood Dragon Ball remake? No. <laughs> If they actually made movie trading cards based off of Dragon Ball Evolution, not Dragon Ball Z- Sorry, my apologies. My phone camera decided to cut the recording off after six minutes. Like I was saying, Dragon Ball Z cards. Dragon Ball Z Evolution cards. Let's find out if they're related to that absolutely horrible and possibly even racist movie. They are. 
it's okay this isn't even offending me this is literally just did they even make a dragon ball i know they did make i think they made multiple dragon ball z card games that is not even going to get any fancy destruction or anything but this next item might it is collect them all dc comics figurine oh my what the heck what did they do to Superman? Look at this head. It looks like it, it looks like Adolf Hitler had a bad hair day. <laughs> I don't even think I need the scissors for this. I can just like All right. Here's your plastics. The molding is really the problem here. Why does my phone not have a macro mode? But yes, we're starting off great here. Next one is... <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna piss off uh, CWC, or whoever, however I'm supposed to call them now. Uh... Huh, this look, was this resealed? Huh, uh... I guess so. I, I guess someone bought it and returned it. I don't know why. I mean, aside from the tie-in with the absolutely horrible, but not as bad as the worst Sonic game, Sonic game. Eh, actually, no. Closer inspection. The mold is terrible. Sorry, the paint is terrible. Like, <laughs> what? I... What? Forget Sonic's arms being blue. Sonic's mouth shouldn't be white. Okay, let's get this open. I'm going to have to break out scissors or something. Yeah, I'm just going to attack it. See, the thing is, with all this garbage, I'm going to have to actually think some way to dispose of it in a creative way that gets all the internet hits. Now I'll probably just throw it in the garbage. Oh wow, just taking it, the, like these arms are apparently articulated, but they're so flimsy and can't even get this out of the package because they tied it together with like very cheap plastic that will probably break in the wrong place and make it even harder to get the big the bad figure out of the box so I think that's how you get it out for the world to enjoy the worst painted Sonic that is officially licensed I'm sure someone else could find something worse but I don't care Articulation is... Wow, that is terrible. Whole whopping... Ugh. I'm fairly sure there's trading figures that have better articulation than this. This is... Th this pose just... I have no words. All right, next item. Peanut head Boston baked beans? What the? I'm assuming this is some kind of candy, I guess. You know, for this kind of subscription box, you really get a lot because it's all garbage. Okay, I'm gonna try one. Cause I know this is probably going to be absolutely horrible. What the heck? These are hard. Candy coated peanuts? Hmm. You're lucky I don't have a peanut allergy, Dave Crate. Uh, aside from the fact that I can't chew them and that they are just going to sit in my mouth for the next 30 minutes and ruin the recording. Eh. They're not horrible. They're not great. It's not a recognizable brand. That's why you can get it at a dollar store for very cheap. I'd say the uh, Minions gummies were probably better. But who knows? I have bad taste in candy. Next one. Not looking. And... 
uh, Cutie Mark Magic. What the insight pony and collector card? Is this, is this just a, a pony blind bag? I thought the theme of this box was garbage. These are almost sometimes okay. If this is some pony, uh, some brony meme that I don't know about, well, I'm about to find out. Uh, okay, uh, molding errors. This honestly looks like, uh, I, I have like the worst frame of reference. For, oh, hold on. That is some horrible paint job. Wow. Even in a blind bag, they managed to find the worst. Also, there's a card in here, so I have to look at it. Sugar grape. And apparently they put Friendship is Magic in all the wrong languages. The right language on the other side. Who cares? Just another look at this. So yeah, the, the uh, thing I was going to say is the sheen of it alone looks like what happens if you get like a five-year-old collect a Japanese toy, like a Nendroid or something. All the, all, all, like some of the parts have started to uh, sort of sweat plasticizer and it gets all sticky. I mean, this isn't sticky, but it looks just like a sticky one. Wait, is this articulated? No, no, that's just where they put this together. Holy crap, that is, how do you paint that? That I could paint better than that. And I know nothing, well, at least the toy stands on its own. Okay, next one. Okay, uh, huh. This, so, wait, what the heck did they, that is the worst way to implement brushable hair. I'm sorry. Also, I almost cut the hair off just opening it. Okay, so... Oh, what the heck? The bottom's molded, too. Uh, aside from the absolutely horrible bald head of this figure, quality is alright. I don't really know how to judge toys that have hair other than you should have a full head of it. The hooves are weird. I don't know why there's this peg here. I don't care. <sighs> Next thing. Oh boy, this feels heavy and oh my god, it's the worst character from this movie. <sighs> so, here's the thing about Frozen. Disney, you have got to get off your high horse and... Stop flooding the market with merchandise for a three-year-old movie. I've got an actual confession to make. I only watched the movie about a month ago. And even considering the time period in which it aired, I don't get why this this movie has such... Well, no, I can understand why it has a fan following, because the Disney fan following is enormous. I mean, heck... You want to complain about Five Nights or Undertale fans? Ugh. No, no. Go, uh, go just search anything Disney related on Tumblr or even any of the Disney related subreddits. That gets into some weird territory pretty darn fast. Now, as for this thing, as you may ha not have noticed from my other videos, I hate Olaf. Merchandise. All off the character. Eh. DreamWorks Home? What the? Wait, was this even a thing? I don't even remember this. Wow, I think you found the most obscure DreamWorks property to blind back. What? Wait, what the? Wait, wait a second. Is this a ripoff of Inside Out? <sighs> well, I have no words except for stop being unoriginal bastards and come up with your own ideas. Two, I have no frame of reference for whether or not this toy is good or bad. 
other than the usual metrics of paint and mold quality. So, to get it out of this plastic coffin slash sarcophagus slash all sorts of things. Mm. Mm. That paint is horrible. I'm sorry. That's unacceptable. The mold is okay. This thing is way too flexible. I don't think that's supposed to be flexible. Mm. That It's got an ejector pin mark here. Note to people who are making molds, you can, you can design your molds so that you can hide your ejector pins, or you can design molds so that there's all sorts of little stupid dimples all over everything and it looks like garbage. This is the latter. That Boston baked bean is still in my mouth. Barely dissolved at all. At least it doesn't taste bad. This is a splat ball in the shape of a human brain. Oh my gosh, maybe they stole it from an actual person. I'm just kidding. Oh, what the heck? This is sticky as all get out. I don't think it's even supposed to be sticky. I mean, if this was just supposed to be a stress ball, it's great, except for the fact that when I squeeze this, after dealing with 20 stupid client requests for things that are not possible on the CMS that they were designed on, I want to be able to code afterwards without turning my keyboard into sticky goo. This does not- oh my gosh, this thing smells bad. It smells like, a uh, uh, low quality PVC bootleg toys or whatever. Next one. Mm, I'm out of junk. Okay. Moonbeams. Well, I can just say right off the bat, this looks like the laziest paint job, as in, there is no paint job. Okay, they did the eyes, that's about it. Everything else is mold. Which, I guess, hot, probably hides some molding problems. At least it comes apart well. Easier to steal. Implying anyone wanted to steal this. See, some packaging here is designed to be a pain in the butt that you have to rip open. Well, actually, this one you have to rip open too, but not as much. And uh, it's got more ties on the back. This one has a nice pull thing that isn't pulling. So instead, at least I don't have the risk of damaging the toy with the scissors. What the heck, it comes apart? The toy itself, not particularly special. I don't know what they're going with this. There's a base here with three button cell battery. Oh, it does something special when you put it on the base or something? Batteries run dry. No, I had it on on. Neither the on or the dead. Well, I can't demonstrate that one. Probably better for all of our mental sanity. All right. Three pinky tie tiaras. I'm almost tempted to just say, don't even bother opening it, because this is quite obviously party tat right off the bat. But I have a feeling this is going to surprise us in the worst possible way. Mm, running out of places to put... I don't get it. Like, it's just... Tiara. It's not even not fitting the theme. All right, next bit. What the heck? Did I grab two things? Housewares decor, houseware bag. Crazy Eights card game. Hmm. Card games on regular bicycles? Numbers and counting learning cards. I think I'm going to have to actually open this up to 
read the rest of the titles. It's how they get you. Go in thinking, oh, this is just some cheap chat. That's bundled with some other cheap chat. And it turns out to be exactly what they promised. Cheap, other, dark. The Play Packs Grab and Go. So I assume this is like one of those activity random things that you give to your kids to keep them quiet for five seconds. Yeah, I, I have nothing else to say about this. I'm not even going to bother opening it. Nothing seems noteworthy other than the fact that I'm officially ran out of desk but I must say determined and my determination awards me with a styling brush which is the heck is this supposed to be a licensed product or is this just generic I don't care I think this might be the last one it is Frozen mini milk chocolate bars. I feel like this would taste better if I had actually frozen it. This is actually not the worst frozen tat that I've seen. Like, I can understand frozen branded candy. What I don't understand is frozen branded green beans. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I have to actually eat this, and that actually poses a problem because of this bossy baked bean. Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm back. Spat out the uh, Boston baked bean. That candy will never go in my mouth again. Not even because it's bad so much as it's just time-consuming. Oh my gosh, you gotta break your teeth if you want to eat these efficiently. So yeah. Frozen milk chocolate bars, not actually frozen, personal pet peeve, yeah. also, yeah. Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, snowman that was more annoying once they over -marketing. I don't care, I don't think anyone cares about the nutrition facts. Frozen mini chocolate bars are small in size, but big on taste, a perfect little reward for the whole family. Don't miss the... Frozen fun facts printed inside each wrapper. One of the central themes of the movie is the power of love over fear. Uh-huh. Yeah. Technically, that would have also apply to Yu-Gi-Oh! Or hell, Undertale for that matter. Maybe even Five Nights at Freddy. So let's see. These things are worth the extra premium you pay to have Ice Queen and... In an alternate universe is totally an alchemist. And it's literally just a chocolate bar wrapped in branding. Fairly large size chocolate bar. better, Slightly better than your normal fun size. And nothing special. Melting in my hand already. That's nice. I love it when you don't even get the chance to finish the chocolate before it starts melting. So, what's our frozen fun fact? If you watched the film, you would know that Anna, pronounced Anna, is a chocolate lover. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't have guessed. By the fact that she's on the front of the thing! There is two more things in here. Dutch Master's leaf wrapper? What the? Is that even legal to mail? And more Dragon Ball cards. Okay. So... Huh. I think that is about it. Now, this video will be going up before a couple other projects. So I get to tease things ahead of time. For example, there was actually a hint in this episode as to what the next fantranslation.org video is. 
card games on bicycles, card games on motorcycles! Just a bit of a recap as to what was in the first month of Dave Crate. Minions, Minions, Badly Molded Pony Toys, Badly po Molded Sonic Toys, Bad Candy, OK Candy with Horrible Marketing, uh, A Brush for some reason, Actual Cigars, uh, uh, some DreamWorks nonsense that I have no idea about whatsoever. And one thing I just noticed, this Moonbeams thing can't even stand up on its own peg. Like, if I, even if I force it, it just doesn't stick. If you bought this... Oh, what the? Did I just bend that already? I hope I didn't. But yeah, if you bought this toy, I have a feeling you would be uh, pretty angry. The base doesn't work, and you can't even rest it on it. Yeah.